Hey guys, Jeremy Jacobitz here from Brunch Boys. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Uh, this is all about my food adventures all, the, all over the world. But today, well, I'm in my apartment here in Brooklyn. This is how it's working for the time being. But that is okay because I am going to be cooking for you. That's right, we are going to make some Korean egg bread. Uh, this is another recipe that I actually found on TikTok. Uh, I follow Cup of TJ, who also has a wonderful YouTube. Go follow her there. Uh, Instagram, TikTok, whatever. And she took uh, this sort of like traditional Korean street food, Korean egg bread, put her own little variation on it, and I was like, oh my God, this is a combination of pancakes and a breakfast sandwich. Mm. So it looks like when I, when I dug into her recipe and dug into a little bit of research, it seemed like you could sort of take this dish uh, in a bunch of different directions as long as you sort of like kept the similar batter and had the egg right in the middle and then you could sort of do your own topping. So I'm going to take the recipe that she did, put a little bit of my own spin on it and see if you come up with something very, very good. I have faith. I have faith in myself and I have faith in you guys just in general, I like you guys. So, uh, all right, let's let's uh, let's do this. Let's get to step number one. Okay, so into a bowl, I'm going to mix uh, half a cup of milk. We are gonna go with oat milk. If you watch a lot of my videos, I don't love using normal milk, just personal preference. I don't think it should mess up the recipe, but use whatever milk you want. Then I'm going to add one egg and a half a teaspoon of vanilla, which I'm just gonna eyeball. All right, and then I've melted a table and a half, a table and a half, one and a half tablespoons of butter, and we're gonna add that right in there too. Give it a little whisk. Okay, so now we're gonna add our dry ingredients to this. We are going to add half a cup of flour, and a quarter cup of sugar, and then we're gonna whisk that together also. All right, so at this point in the video that I was watching, uh, she took the batter and put it into little trays. Uh, but I'm actually going to add what she added on top into the batter itself as well. So into the batter, I'm gonna add bacon, scallions, cheese, and those are also gonna be on top of it, but I wanted to see if I could sort of get that thing running through the entire bite instead of just being on top. Again, I don't know what necessarily is traditional, but we're putting, we're putting our own spin on these things. You know what I mean? We're having some fun with it. Even if it's not the exact way it's supposed to be, cooking is about experimenting and see what happens. You know what I mean? All right, so I'm filling up the trays about halfway each of the batter. Uh, I was expecting to make about four, but I have a little bit extra, so actually just gonna make six of them. The more the merrier. Okay. So now I'm going to crack an entire egg on top of each one of these. All right, and these eggs that I'm using are actually sent to me by um, Handsome Farms. So thank you guys so much. Handsome Brook Farms. I'm a dummy, even better. But thank you guys, I eat eggs every single day. So appreciate the free eggs. We don't want to be breaking the yolk here. We want to keep it intact. So be careful. All right, and now I'm just going to uh, top them with what we put into the batter as well. So more scallions, more cheese, and more bacon. All right, we're looking good. So uh, I have the oven preset for 390 degrees, and I'm gonna put them in there and bake between 15, 20 minutes. After 15 minutes, I'll just keep my eye on them. Just, you could tell sort of on top if they're gonna be done or not. So see you guys in a... Uh, 15 minutes. All right, so while those are cooking, let's talk about my hat. Uh, this is the newest hat to the collection. Thank you, Hat Club. Uh, my addiction is raging because of you guys, but this is actually the LA Express, which was the USFL team in the 80s. Uh, no, I'm not a USFL fan or an LA Express fan, but I'm a very big fan of Los Angeles, and I just love sort of like the 80s vibes coming off of the hat. So had to order it, got it in this week, had to wear it for you guys. I love it. I have a problem. A huge, huge problem, but not terribly expensive hat, you know, problem. So, and all the things I can have a problem with. Buying hats seems like low on the uh, list of things there. Okay. All right, there we go. 
looking good. I'm gonna let them sit for just a minute to cool off and then we'll pop them out and taste them. All right, let's dig into these bad boys. They look so beautiful. And like really like nice and light. Mmm, they smell really good. They smell sort of like pancakes, which makes sense. It's a very similar batter uh, coming together. Mmm, all right. Let's take a big old bite. Mmm. Oh, man. Mmm. This is unbelievable. No. You're getting, oh God. Mm. Mm. <laughs> You're getting everything you love in like pancakes. That butteriness, that sweetness. But then you're also getting everything you were gonna love about a bacon, egg, and cheese sandwich. More egginess, a little saltiness, smokiness of the bacon, a little bit sharpness from the cheese. Oh my God. This, this is very good. This is unbelievably good. It just like is all your favorite breakfast in one single bite, which is so crazy. Mmm. Maybe it would have been better um, if I could have gotten the egg runny. But from everything that I saw, the way that it's done in Korea, it's not made to be runny. This is sort of the texture you're going for, which is like, you know, a little medium. Um, but no complaints here. Oh, man. You guys know what's good when I finish it, and I have to finish this one. Mmm. Damn. Oh. Okay. All right, thank you so much, you guys, for watching. Uh, like this video. Comment below. Let me know what you think about this dish. Subscribe. That'd be cool. You can hit the little bell, too, so you get notifications. I post a lot. And, um, yeah, I will see you guys next time.